guys how's it going so welcome to the to-do list tutorial series and this is episode two and i think we are going to and we're going to complete the series here and all right so let's take a look at what we have with our app at the moment so we are able to add an item we are able to check the to-do item that has been done we are able to uncheck it if we change our mind we are able to edit this item so like buy groceries and store and then we save the changes so you can see the changes being applied here and then we can also delete the done items. We can equally delete um, checked items. Okay. So this is basically what we have. And yeah, that's that's kind of what we are going to explain. And the changes the, the changes that we made to the application, the major changes are this edit button. If you click on the edit, uh, it populates this input field with a in, into the form and then you're able to add uh, you're able to add the edited or buy stuff you're able to make changes and then save and then yeah obviously the delete or the delete button as well so in this episode we are going to look at um, the delete handle delete function and handle edit function and we added a model if you take a look here we added this model for editing um, our to-do list item and then this close button with its functionality so um, let's take a look at them real quick well um, yeah so if you haven't if you haven't watched the first episode uh, please advise you to go back the link will be in the description follow the link and to take you to the first episode and yeah that's kind of where we designed this box and the inputs this button and then the ui here so yeah let's take a look the, the obvious changes here we added our use effect hook and initially we were assigning the list straight from the to-do list mock um, to-do list mock folder here we have this file which we, we added like three items three mock delete um sorry to do items here and then um yeah um, okay so that's one of the changes we have this uh, variable here we have this sorry we have this date here um, a selected item so and the function the set function is um, set selected item um, we initialize it to null and yeah it's one of the changes as well and we are we've already gone through uh, gone over handle change we have done handle item and handle delete yeah this is one of the new functions that we added okay so in this handle delete function well we have the parameters item id and then with that item id that we get from selecting this item we we pass it back to this parent function this this is uh, handle delete this so this handle delete function is to handle uh, when the user selects um, select an item or a to-do list item to delete and yeah this what we are doing on this line is uh, we are going through the list uh, our list state here the list um, yeah the list array here and then we are finding and then we are looking for this we are looking for items that do not match this item ID so it's going to the result is going to be all items that do not match this parent item id the point is to bring back to like fetch all the items that 
do not match this ID so that we uh, eliminate the the, ID, the match here and then we set the result to the list in the handle edit we have we, we are doing similar thing but then uh, on this line we assign the list uh, from our states our current list state to a temporary array called uh, um, variable and then in a, another variable we have this select a cell item equals to this array and then we filter it and then find a, a match for this parameter this item id yeah so the result the resulting uh, the resulting value is going to be a loop uh, sorry it's going to be an array so we access is going to be supposed to be one item that matches so but uh, your id shouldn't have a duplicate by the way so with it this match we access the first uh, the first item and then we set it to the sec selected item here um, which we declared here one and okay so we also have the handle check so this this handle check as the name suggests is this is what it does it checks and then uncheck so if we click on it and uh, it's it probably it's uh, it finds the ID of the current item selected and then look through look through the list for that ID and then find the index here so we are running find index method or function and then we are uh, bringing the results and storing it in this in, into this index and then on this line we also have update status variable which which holds uh, the result of the uh, this temporary array on here we are accessing the index remember this is returning uh, an index 0 1 to an index index of the i currently selected item and so um, we use that index to access the item and then look for this key and uh, and then we evaluate uh, evaluate the value and see if it's equal it's not equal to done so whenever it's whenever it returns false um, we, it returns true sorry uh, we assign we assign update status with done but if it returns true we assign to pending so what I'm saying is when you click on it this this has been unchecked so uh, this kind this, this is the line that handles that okay and yeah this temporary this temporary variable which which is an array a type of array um we are assigning this value this result here we are assigning it uh, or you could say we are overwriting the value of the status and updating it to whatever result we get from here and then we set that array to the list yeah this this three dots just means we are destructuring the object. You can just, uh, you, you can, we are destructuring this array. You can opt to just remove this, these braces and just enter the TMP as the variable name. Fine. So we have it. We have this as open and then the set opens uh, setting function. And then, yeah. So whatever, whatever, whatever the open value is, we negate it. So in this instance yeah it initialize it, it it has been initialized to false and so if the first time that this toggle model is called it's going to set it to not open so it's just negating not open which which we have as false and in this case it just turns it as true and then that in turn make our model open all right and then handle update we are using handle update here and we are passing it through this new component that we built in this episode, which is edit item model. So let's take a look at the edit item model from the components folder. So we have this uh, props close item and then on edit selected item. Remember, is what we set the current selected item to. So if this is select, if this if this edit button is clicked, uh, it finds the index of this and then uh, look for the item. And assign it to this item prop. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, we are we are declaring the props the props up there, and we are we are making use of the React the refs the use use ref um, hooks here. 
in our in our input field here. All right. So in the first episode, we directly put the value as we directly directly de declare the value as uh, item dot title, and uh, and going forward, it would be causing issues because um, it wouldn't allow you to toggle this um, toggle off. And so we had to resort to using the default value. So on it, its initial render, it assigns the value of the current um, the current key, which is the title item dot title, and it's assigned the value here. All right. So this ref is to hold the value. We, we are using it to access the value. So when this key uh, this this button is is clicked, uh, we have a local function in this child component, which is which we named as save. And so when it's clicked, it invokes this save, and then we intend return uh, on edit, which is, we are getting the value from the input as edit ref dot current dot value. And so that's kind of what we are doing in here. All right. So going back to uh, the app dot js, we we have we are running this co uh, condition here. We say if um, open this open is true um, then we render we render this uh, edit item model in in other terms we we display this model we display this model based on the value of um, this open open states uh, yeah uh, so in terms of changes in this app the gss gsx uh, file this are all the changes and I think there are also changes that we did here in the to-do list to-do list or not uh, um, yeah I think we've gone through everything uh, in this file already in episode one so the obvious change here is just adding the icons which I have here, I have here, I have in here in my icons folder in the assets, and it's taking some time to display. I don't know. All right. Okay. Yeah. So we have a delete icon and then delete. Uh, edit icon which we imported from um, this assets and then icons all right so there isn't much to do again and so uh, i think we are going to end the uh, series here and uh, we might add a database and back end to it in, in a couple of days but let me know in the comments thank you